Hello friends, myself Rakesh. I welcome you to UiPath Expo Hub. Today we are going to learn the chapter 3 in PDF automation. Please do like the video. Many times when inside a PDF, when the value get changes, you know, when you have a dynamic type of values, then how do you get the proper value from a PDF is something we are going to learn. So today we are going to utilize a couple of different activities and the main activity for that will be anchor base. Okay. And inside anchor base, we will also use something called find element. We will also see, we will also see the another activity called find image. Okay. So these are the three different activities and how to utilize we are going to learn. So let's get started. The first thing you type anchor base, drag and drop it here. So this has got two different elements. One is the anchor. The other one is the activity. Okay. Now in the anchor, as I said, we are going to use find element and then we will see how to use the find image. I am dragging and dropping the find element. Now uh, this looks quite simple but there are so many things and lot many errors might appear and I am going to show you that. So once you drag and drop the find element, the next activity to pull the value I will be using get text. Okay, ensure your PDF files are open. So I have opened all the three different PDF files and we will see one by one. In find element, click on indicate on screen. Select the element below which so that this element would work like a an anchor. Okay, below which we have the value which we want to retrieve. So select the anchor. So here anchor is selected. Now on the right hand side you have get text. Again click on indicate on screen. And you have selected the value. Okay, just by doing this, on the right hand side of get text, you have something called output. Here you need to use the variable. Now use a message box and declare the variable. Let's run it and see how it works. So now, so you see it did not pull the proper value. Okay, it is pulling a arrow and why this is happening, let's see that. So it is pulling this one, okay. So it is not literally giving me the proper value. So how to fix that? Now on the anchor base, when you highlight the anchor base on the right hand side, you have something called anchor position, right? By default, it is set to auto and when most of the PDFs, this function would work. But sometimes when we receive PDFs, which were created probably from an online or, you know, couple of PDFs might have problems. So that's where you have to work on this area, anchor position. So here, what I'm going to do, I know the anchor. So remember, if you go to the file, this is your anchor, right? So the anchor is on the top and the value is at the bottom. Okay. Go back to UI path, select the anchor base and here you need to select top. All right. The anchor is on the top. Let's run it and see how it comes. So this time you can see it has pulled the proper value. Okay, so the proper value has come. All right. Now the next thing I will do in my background, if I change that PDF to another PDF and remember all the PDFs has to be of the similar, similar kind. So let me open a different PDF. 
so right now i have executed this in 100 i am i am going to execute that in 102 and the value should pull is 4989 let's run it and see so you can see there is an error what we have encountered here So how to fix this error? Anchor base activity timeout exceeded. So I, I guess you already know this answer. So to do that, go to find element. And on the right hand side, you have something called selector. Okay. Now in the selector, if you see the invoice this time is no more ending with 100, but the it is 102. So if you want to utilize, all you have to do is put a while character or asterisk mark that way this would become universally applicable to all kind of pdfs that you are going to open and one more thing this is called the identifier uh, you know which is generally not required this identifier you can always delete this okay so once you do this click on validate so now it is working so let me run it and see if the proper value is coming or not even after doing this you can see the value has not come it is still pulling 3800 which is the value from the pdf 100 right it's not pulling the 102 so remember while utilizing this activity only the file which is open which from where you wanted to retrieve the data should be open the other pdf supposed to be closed okay you can utilize the close application and close the specific pdf and only have the pdf where you want to pull the data so this time let me close that pdf so i'm closing it let me run it now if i go back you can see the proper value has been retrieved let's say i want to see the value of this one 103 which is 5650 so let me close this and simply run the workflow so you can see the new value 5650 has okay so you understood how to utilize the find element okay and how to fix the errors okay why the errors are coming and how to fix the error this is something is clear now we are going to work on the next element called find image so i'm going to delete the find element and instead i am going to use find image so find image means instead of taking that as an element this will take whatever you are indicating it will take as an image so let me click on indicate image on screen and select the image I have selected the image now let me run it so you can see it is not pulling the value for me so how to fix this now to fix this the very first thing that you have to do click on view because it has to capture the entire image click on zoom click on actual size of the pdf okay this is something you need to remember okay again try to take the image with the proper size of the actual size of the pdf file click here indicate scope on screen so i have selected now let me run it
so you can see the 5650 value has appeared okay so this is something you need to keep in mind while using the find image you have to ensure it is in the actual size otherwise you might encounter the problem so we have to select the actual size of the pdf so guys uh, let me tell you again anchor base with find element or find image these are something you will be these are very critical activities which you have to utilize so knowing how it works and where the problem could come will be of a great help so we'll come up with more exciting videos on pdf automation we'll come up with some more practical examples now we have learned how to utilize the activities then we'll come up with some practical scenarios to see how to work on them and do not forget guys to